Today I'm going to start a brand new series and the reason I'm going to do this is I was looking at um, my YouTube channel and I had posted a few videos and had pretty much gotten to where I wasn't posting anymore and then recently went back and noticed that several of them had um, five, six hundred hits, some had fifteen hundred hits and uh, one of my viewers wrote to me and said that she wanted me to write about personality disorders. So. I'm going to try this and um, the reason I want to do this is not to necessarily give someone a label um, but to try to help you understand the kinds of people that you might be dealing with and to tell you um, what they'll make you feel like and how you can kind of get out of their trap and react differently to them. So first of all, um, if you're interested in these videos, my channel is The Lucille Z. It's on YouTube, The Lucille Z, L-U-C-I-L-L-E-Z. Um, so, have you ever known someone where you feel like you're constantly putting a quarter in a pop machine and trying to get something out of it, but you never can get the pop? You can never figure out how to make these people happy. They're manipulative. You always feel caught in their trap. Um, well, these are personality disorders, and the um, DSM-4, which is basically psychologist, psychiatrist Bible, um, would list 10 different personality disorders. And let me just quickly tell you, personality disorders are a very pervasive way of seeing the world. They're formed in early childhood, and um, they're, it's very, very hard to get someone to change once they're an adult and they've developed these personality disorders. So um, just believe me when, when I tell you, you're not going to get them to change, but you can change how you're reacting to those people. Um, their behavior is often blaming or it's dramatic or erratic. So they're going to seek to overwhelm you with um, emotional attention, uh, maybe seductive, maybe narcissistic, like self-centered, maybe demanding. They often come across as very beautiful, successful, um, goal-oriented people, and you're going to feel good when you're around them initially. They are going to use their charms, um, sexual hooks, uh, manipulation, their response to try to get a response from you. Um, so here's how you're going to feel when you're with someone who has a personality disorder. You're going to feel trapped, angry, powerless, manipulated, guilty, frustrated. And the way they do that is they tr constantly try to get the same reaction out of you. And they can never look at themselves and say, well, maybe it's me and maybe I'm responding badly. They constantly blame others. So maybe you're a caring person, a rescuer, a victim of past abuse. Maybe you're a giver. Maybe you're insecure. Those are the kinds of people that are going to get pulled in to a personality disordered individual. I'm going to call them PDIs, personality disordered individual, from now on because it's shorter. In this series, I'm going to pick one personality disorder and um, maybe give you some movie ideas, some characters you've seen in movies. I'm not going to be talking about any of my real clients. I may talk about real life situations I've encountered just in the world. Um, but the number one thing you can do to know if you're dealing with a personality disorder is to pay attention to how you feel. One of my supervisors told me to think about, he said, if you start to feel crazy, you're probably dealing with someone with a personality disorder. Um, so again, they're very maladaptive, they're inflexible. If you could imagine a two-year-old trapped inside of a grown-up body and the way it's going to play out, there's going to be lots of different ways, but basically they are people who haven't learned how to use grown-up skills, so they resort to using manipulative, controlling behaviors. They treat you badly and then when you try to tell them how it makes you feel, they see you as the problem. Now one little warning is most of us are going to see ourselves in the symptoms. Um, and we're going to say, oh gosh, I've got these symptoms. I do this, 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 and this. But everybody's on a continuum. So maybe you do this a lot, but not this so much, and not this, and not this. Um, so just because you show some symptoms doesn't mean you have a personality disorder. If you want to know, you're going to probably meet all the criteria and score very, very high on the scale. And then, then you might worry that you have a personality disorder. Many um, things play into it, maybe hereditary, we're all born with a certain nervous system, our family of origin, stressful events, um, 
whether we had good caregivers who could nurture us and soothe us and comfort us. Uh, maybe someone had a great childhood but then experienced several major losses and those people could certainly develop a, um, a personality disorder. So again, it's just a lens. This is like a pervasive way that people see the world and it's, um, it's rigid, it's not flexible, and it's manipulative. They don't ever look at themselves. They blame others. And that's it for today. Talk to you soon. Bye.